quick one today looking at Diesel's solo on Tip of My Tongue. It's an amazing, uh, he's, a, he's a great player, so the solo is really cool. It's an interesting effect he's got on it. I'm using a Strat, the, uh, the humbucker on this one, but I've got the wah, sort of that vowel filter wah thing um, in, the, in the camper. Because it sounds, it kind of sounds wah, kind of sounds voice boxy. It's a, it's an interesting effect that he's got. So I've got that on again. It's a wah with a sort of a vowel filter, and I've got it engaged, and I'm not, uh, I'm not sweeping it up and down. I've just left it um, right at the bottom, and it gives you a little bit of that filter uh, that's on there. So anyway, it's in the key of B, and it's great how he goes between sort of a B minor pentatonic, B major pentatonic. In there, the chords, um, as we see when we'll, we'll, we'll get through, um, think of like a B power chord, but with the two open strings, two high strings open. Drop the B down to an A. To a G sharp. Then back up to A, that's that first part that he's got there. Other, other two chords in there, think of an F sharp uh, major chord, but again, lift your fingers up, those two strings open again. And an E power chord. Does that again. And then a D and an A. Back to the beginning, they're the chords that are in it. So there's not a major third in the chords that are being outlined. And because you've got the A in there, you're thinking that mixolydian, that flat seven, or that dominant sort of major chord as well, that A chord. Um, but it's obviously a major sound that he's got. Um, and as I said, he, he'll blend between sort of that bluesy B minor pentatonic and the more obvious B major pentatonic. Um, okay, so the first note, let's have a look. First note of a guitar solo can always sort of make or break or make it sort of special or not. And he's coming in there, sort of has a lead in from the B, but then he's hitting the E to the D sharp. So he's playing with that suspended fourth major third on those first chords. Okay there, so that E and ninth fret. Uh, G-string uh, to the eight, just a uh, hammer-on pull off there. Every snare hit, I picked it, so it's not an obvious pick, but it just sort of keeps keeps it sort of ringing out same same volume. Um, and then he's going to bend the eleventh up to thirteenth fret, so that F sharp up to the G sharp. This is his major pentatonic sort of idea there. Um, he's got which is really nice. Then. Again, sort of bluesy, but major bluesy, okay? So that slide bend on the C sharp up to the D sharp. Okay, it's really, really nice there. Then th this part again is super bluesy. Okay, there, so he's bending from the D, which is the B minor pentatonic, straight up to the E. And then the two up to the major third. That's a really common sound in, in the blues. So he's, again, going up five up to six up to the G sharp, hitting the B, but then bending from that minor third up to the E, and then the second, the C sharp, to the D sharp. So it's sort of a one tone, a semitone apart, if it makes sense, but that, that sound... Really, really common in sort of bluesy, bluesy playing. Um, okay, and now he's sort of a little bit of minor pentatonic as well. So he starts on the A, but just slightly. Okay. It's almost kind of like a rake there. That A is almost incidental, but. Straight out of B minor to pentatonic. Okay, and now we're on this chord. So he does. Okay, just a slight little tease bend on the E up to an F to D sharp. Then a major tone bend of, sorry, a holster bend up to the F sharp there. Really, really nice there. Okay. 
And then a pull off at the end there. There's no peak attack when he hits that D. Just a pull off the E to the D and a slight bend up before ending on the B. Beautiful solo. Again, blending between major pentatonic and minor pentatonic diesel, a.k.a. Mark Lazotte, or the other way around. All right, solo to tip of my tongue. Good luck. See you next time.